Welcome to part three, folks. Here we go. We're using a quarter inch two foot end mill, 5,000 RPMs, and I think about 12 or 15 inches a minute. And the first thing I want to mention, this is not the right way to hold the workpiece. I've got the inverse jaws installed because, uh, unfortunately, I managed to lose the uh, two of the three other standard jaws. So uh, this video is going to serve hopefully as a great tutorial and demonstration of the capability of how to use a fourth axis, but do not please use this as a reference on how to work hold on the fourth axis. The, uh, this is a two inch piece of aluminum. It uh, ended up working great to be honest with you in this job, even though it was only held with about a half an inch or so of the vice jaws but standard jaws would provide a lot more support and or the tail stock option that Tormach also sells. But as you can see here, the cutting is great. Uh, I, I don't know what to say other than that I was very, very pleased. I didn't see backlash or chatter. The fourth just performed great. So let's uh, fast forward here a little bit. We're going to do one more cut, I believe, at this in this pocket to get to full depth. You get the idea. Again, quarter inch, two flute end mill. This one is a ball end mill. We're doing that 2D contouring operation. I'm being pretty conservative here. It's, uh, I think, 125 thou depth that I'm taking in two or three passes. Again, not supporting the workpiece out at this distance and just trying to demonstrate the capabilities more than pushing it to the max. But honestly, ran great. You'll see at the end here, really pleased with this finish. I'll have to figure out, instead of backtracking all the way like we're doing right here, if there's a way to, you know, go to the closest home position, more of a production type question and something obviously that's related to the cam and not the Tormach, uh, but I'll let you know if I figure that out. Again, let's fast forward here for uh, the rest of this cut. It's actually kind of cool to watch it fast forward. Okay, this is a 5 16th end mill. I actually love this end mill. It's a three flute end mill. I've always had a lot of luck with it. And we are going to machine that flat here. Uh, one other thing I need to figure out is it, it uh, is rotating as it's Z plunging or, or rapiding though really to the safe height. Should figure out how to do that again more efficiently. Not a huge deal, but uh, something I want to add put on the list to improve. And again, you would, you'll see the cut quality here is spectacular. And if there were a lack of rigidity or if there were play in the fourth itself, I think this is where it would show up. And, and it didn't, it was great. Using a 3 16 end mill, we'll interpolate that pocket. Same thing, we're going to spiral down in, no problem at all handling it. I think my coolant line solenoid didn't kick on here, which is why you're seeing some chips linger on the workpiece. I've actually got a new solenoid sitting on my desk that I just haven't uh, gotten around to placing yet, but uh, this is a, as good excuse of it as I need to get that done.
quarter inch 90 degree spotty mill. We'll first use it to chamfer that hole we just interpolated. Then we will come over and spot those three holes we're going to drill. Quarter inch drill. You are going to see the workpiece flex a little bit here. Uh, actually, still drilled beautifully, but again, you got to have the workpiece supported or at least hold it in uh, thicker or longer jaws than I've got here. Here is that, uh, I think it's pretty cool, the sort of fourth axis contouring, uh, chamfering that hole. You can see the fourth axis chuck is rotating here. I probably could have done it in one hole pass, but again, just taking it easy here. Last but not least, I didn't cover this in the cam section, I forgot, but this is just going into uh, the cutting parameters multiply across the A axis. I think I'm doing uh, 20 holes every 18 degrees here or something like that. But a very handy feature, a very easy way to make a fourth axis part. Holy cow, folks. Uh, disengage the stepper so we can take a closer look here. Uh, yeah, I took a couple of test cuts, but uh, really this is the first part I've ever machined on a fourth axis. Oh my god, it is beautiful. I am astounded at the quality of this thing. And remember, I don't even have the right jaws in here. Inevitably, there was more chatter or run out or you know, an effect cut quality because I'm holding on to so little of the stock absolutely beautiful i wish you could see and feel how darn smooth that finish is the thing this is amazing absolutely amazing uh and hopefully as you can see from the videos in sprut honestly not all that hard once you see the tricks on how to do it a um, couple of things actually the one thing i really did notice that didn't occur to me is the smoother you want this uh, bottom face here, the shorter the step over you need to do because it's, the edges are perfect, but obviously what happens here is you have facets as you index the end mill over. Um, but just beautiful folks. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I really wanna enable you guys to do fourth axis work. Uh, it's a lesson for me as well. So let's uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you wanna see. I'll work to do more videos if that makes sense on next steps with this thing. I've got two specific projects, both are gun related, that I'm going to be machining and doing a video series on here. One is a muzzle brake, the other I'm really excited to announce. I got a Form 1 back from the ATF, so we're going to make a 22 suppressor with this thing. Um, so lots of good stuff to come, folks. This is super exciting. This is probably one of the coolest things I've ever made in my life. Um, just uh, really happy. Big, a big thanks to the folks at Tormach. This is what an incredible product. Um, anyways, I'll stop rambling. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, folks, please comment, thumbs up, like, share. It really does uh, make a difference to me. And I will see you soon. Take care, folks.